All right, you're welcome back to the balance diet of Teddy Tim. And this morning, of course, from that quick, quick tour, friends, our papers will don't enter the beauty pageant. This one, I miss Nigeria. We go share it this very weekend for Inside Last Gig. And of course, now Wazobia TV and Wazobia Max TV, now be the official partners of the Miss Nigeria 20th edition. But from then, I will not enter this next bus stop because for this very year of 2018, Lagos State will um, dwell as people they say for inside Lagos, they will come outside and be provoked on top waiting. On top waiting, the Lagos State government will come outside and talk about the land use charge. Now, we'll come outside here. Just one morning, we'll just wake up here and say they don't increase land use charge from what it be to almost, almost over 100% of waiting people be they pay. And people, they come outside, they talk, say, what it be this land use charge? What it be land use act? Where all this money they work out go? How government they take manage and what it they happen when it comes to properties and even you will be tenant or even landlord? That's now I will get somebody from the property estate or the real estate um, sector where they're here to choke mouth on top. What they share it for our country? Because us as dwellers of Nigeria, we suppose even know our right when it comes to whether you want rent house, whether you want buy land, or whether you self want be landlord. Because every tenant today will be landlord tomorrow. I can hear you say amen to that. All right, now we get the managing director of Noble Grounds Limited. Um, this person they hold first degree for inside civil engineering from the University of Lagos, even Colombia, another title what they call MBA from the Lagos Business School. And the experience we carry on top of now, which is going to call 15 years experience in construction and the real estate industry. Right now, so they talk so in portfolio. You think gallant well, where well, you have your whole grand. You miss a way to you miss a in no in onions. Who be this person? We get none other than Mr. Olaji De Dosumu inside the studio this morning. Good morning, Oga. Good morning. How are you there this morning? Great. Fantastic. So make we look at because from your portfolio, from what they read, now, it may be like say you say if you get enough mouth for inside the real estate industry, not only for inside book, but even for experience for inside there. When we hear this story of this land use act. Some people never ever hear them before. Some people don't even know what it be. Some people they check dictionary, they show error, error. Make we start from the meaning. What in the land use act? Okay. Now the, the land use um, tax is actually. You they talk tax. Yes. Act and tax now. If you change the word or is it or not two different? Uh, well, things? you know there is a law and then there is uh, an object of the law which is the tax which you take from the people. Okay. Yes. So, um, the act is the policy, the tax is the object which you take in terms uh -huh. of return, yeah. Okay. So, now, um, land use, you know, uh, tax is actually um, property tax with government. They impose on the property within the domain. And the essence is to use these uh, funds collected from property tax to develop the environment with a property day. For example, the roads with the, uh, that location, you know, schools, and all those kind of things for that environment. The, gov the government is supposed to take the money collected from these taxes to maintain that environment. Okay, so mm -hmm. now the government is supposed to collect this money. Now they, they collect the money from the tenants where they stay for inside that house. Or now from the landlord where they get the property. Or now a collab of both the tenant plus the landlord. Well, it, it depends. As far as government is concerned, government go hold the property owner responsible to pay the land use tax. But it now depends between the landlord and the tenant. It depends on the agreement as it be, whether or now you go pay or now me go pay. So that's between them. But as far as government they concerned, you go hold the owner of the property responsible. Responsible for making sure they can collect yes. this money. Now people, they come outside because for some people, they never know or they not be know before that argument be come outside, before government, Lagos State government, be try to let people know, say, now what's going to happen with this? A lot of people don't even know, say, they suppose pay that kind of money. Because the agreement they get with their landlord, maybe or maybe not, the landlord put them for there, or maybe they themselves don't even read them to look for that particular word for inside the agreement. So people can't hear this one now, they can't they ask. As I ask you now, you don't talk, say, not to build the environment. The money they got out to build the environment. But yet, will they still see, say, the environment for inside Lagos State as case study? It still be the same way. We never see any difference. So people, they come outside, they complain, say, we never see any difference with the small way they collect. Now, you don't call increase them. How will they show 
Say that money where you they collect or you want collect or you want start to they collect now. They go use and do the thing where you say don't talk with say they go do. And the main thing we say, you know, people are uh, supposed they hold government responsible. If you pay your property tax, then you, you should hold uh, the government responsible to How ensure. How do you hold them responsible? Well, there are different ways for expressing it. That's why we get the opportunity to vote. At that time where you vote, many times government didn't listen. That period of time, you could take and express your feelings. Say, look, oh, this is our area. You get problems for here, you get problems for there. For there. You go do them or you no go do them. So the government go fit, tell what their plans be. And we go feel hold them responsible. At that point in time. Mm -hmm. Now this one now, another another sector we feel call like unofficial land use because um for inside Lagos State here, Lagos State don't put law. In addition to the land use act we don't share since nineteen seventy eight, Lagos State even put another law of recent talking about um payment between the landlord and the tenant or payment to tenant will give to landlord. Now they mm -hmm. come outside put law, say now one year rent, now every landlord supposed to take at a time upon when you enter the house. But if you go today to an average landowner or landlord, say you won't go move, go in house. If you don't get two year rent, plus agency fee of 10%, in some cases 15 or 20%, it depends on how you bargain well, plus some other charges on top of The landlord will tell you, say, make you pack your car, they go. Now we get a law where they talk, say, one year rent. But you get the owner of the property where they say, you must pay two year rent. When you tell and say now waiting law talk, sometimes they go tell you say, Lord, where Lord day when I they build my property? Where Lord day when I they buy my bag of cement? I they mold my block. When I am on they thief my cement. Or when they talk say for every foundation where they do, I will keep a cocoa, or I will keep goat, or I will do issue for them. Where that law be there on top and where they can't tell me now and say you know go fee pay two year, now one year. This law now and the implementation, now there wahala day. Waiting with you do about them. Yeah, um, you know. You know, as a matter of fact, the law saying that one year make person uh, to, uh, landlord take before if it uh, allow tenant make it enter house. But you know, for this life, you get within the call law of demand and supply. We all know say now the government say housing deficit for Nigeria now is 17 million. The, especially for a city like Lagos, the demand they very high. So when you they say I won't pay one year, somebody they say you won't pay two years. And because of that natural law of demand and supply, the supplier now will be the landlord. He get more power. If he decides, say, oh, I don't want this person. I want this person instead. And because the person, they're ready to pay more. So at the end of the day, when it comes to that uh, demand and supply law, it is very difficult to take regulate things. Because when you say you don't want pay, somebody else will tell you go pay. You understand? So now make government actually try make more housing be available. Because if you go outside cities, we demand no two day like that. Land of even collect monthly rents. Uh -huh. so be. As you talk monthly now, it brings me to the next question because for inside for, for, for certain countries, I mean they, they pay their rent based on a monthly basis. Mm -hmm. But for a region like here, we all of us are quite familiar, they prefer to collect them yearly. Now Rent, they're very expensive. For inside Lagos State, on average, if you see a house of 400,000, it'd be like saying, I won't face me, I slap your house, now if it to be, depending on the location. Mm -hmm. But for some other places, that 400,000, you fees and pay for rent for a couple of years. But for here, if it be one year rent, in some places, it be, for some shops, if it be one month shop, depending on the location. Mm -hmm. So now the cost of housing for inside Nigeria is pretty high. We understand say, some of the materials that they use it important. But how the government fit try to make sure say housing for inside Nigeria, it go there in such a way where even the thirty thousand naira minimum wage holder that we're still prophesying in the future go fit to pay without so much pain, without so much vexation where you go put on top of your family because say enough here afford housing. We don't say the government they do what they call low housing estates, but that one self, a lot of people never still get chance to shop from that one. What did they do to make sure, say, housing is quite affordable in terms of the rent or whether or monthly they fit to pay them or whether or quarterly um, as compared to the one year huge chunk where they come up for person, person salary? And the most appropriate thing we say make person not even they live rented apartments again. Most people now want own their own home. 
But so the, if everybody become landlord, don't go be tenant. Eh, well, some people go still be tenant because of priority. You want be no, course. No, 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 okay. no, no, be saying course. You want be close to where they work, all those kind of things. We still make you. Some people go out their way to become tenant. But now, for government to provide these people a home, that's why they introduce this uh, the Federal Mortgage Bank, where they give people housing loan. Now, the problem is accessibility to the loan, how people feel take access that loan, depending on the kind of place where they work. Most people know they work for that kind of environment where they will feel get access to that kind of loan. Because normally, maybe they're supposed to get like 30 years to make payment for the house mm -hmm. where they won't buy. You understand? Yeah. That way, it will reduce most people out of the parents go they pay against the house with they with the with the they call mortgage. I don't want to call mortgage. Oh, okay. I don't want to call but the accessibility to the loan it they reduced because most people know they work for the kind of environment where we give them access to that loan. So that one are the challenge. Now in terms of rent cost, that yearly cost, that one they because of, um, like I said, in a place like Lagos, demand they high. So rent go they high. You understand? Because a lot of people want the same thing where you get, where you, where you want. And because of that, cost, inflation, and everything for economy, it they high. So it translates at the end of the day to the rent. Fantastic. I mean, mm -hmm. I get so many questions to ask you. Even reach the Omonile angle when it becomes to when it comes to being a landowner, because like you talk, everybody's supposed to be landlord. Mm -hmm. But for one reason or the other, there are certain things that hinder a lot of people. If you just give us one or two tips concerning um, property, now if you want to buy property, because you're inside real estate, mm -hmm. waiting be the thing where two just two tips where people need to look out for okay. in terms of buying any property. Okay. Well, if you want to buy property, first thing first, we say your case of your good there, good. Take coordinate of the location. Surveyor. Surveyor. Uh huh. Okay. Take the coordinate of the location. Go government office. Go charter to know whether the place is inside acquisition or oh. it's free. Uh -huh. If it's inside acquisition, then you be say government don't say they won't take that place, do something. So even so, the money they won't sell that place to you, you know, be in home again. And you get what you know, they call committed acquisition. If na committed acquisition, that means say government don't decide, say this place na airport. Nothing go fit change them. Plan the on ground or wait Plan the use on that ground. land. That one, eh, when you buy them, you know fit that land go there useless to you. Wow. But if no be committed, you give it in the call ratification. Then be say you go pay government. Government go help you ratify them. If I say you buy them from government hand. Uh -huh. So now the first thing we're supposed to do with that to, to chat it. The location, whether it's inside acquisition or not. Okay. Another thing we suppose check, we say this environment where they buy. Now inside maybe in a water kind of area, places we will get problem of flooding for future. If you go buy for that kind of place without thinking, in the future you could just say a place where you buy, now problem, and you don't build your house there. So now another problem with that. Wow, so you need to get a surveyor first of all to actually make sure, say, that the right thing you they do, whether it be with you government yeah. or you know they will government or government, they will carry and put and say a special project, then the one you still do on top of them. Yeah, and the good. second one, that the location, the location of where that land they fantastic one. I know say so many more there on top of them. And, um, and, then, and then one thing we say, which kind of title the land get? Title of the land. You get C or four or one that just gazettes with the family owners. Uh huh. Because you see, now that family owned when it comes to family property, now they are while at the day pass. Exactly. I know some people get so many questions. I even get questions to ask you on top of this one more. But where people feel gave it you on top to get more qu answers to solutions or to, to questions concerning properties okay. in real estate? Where our, do they feel reach on top of Instagram? Uh, on Instagram? Yes. It's uh, noblegrounds.ng. Noblegrounds.ng. Noble, yes. On top of Instagram. At noblegrounds.ng. Okay. Yeah. Then where you at? You did another you know, for Ireland. Our office, the uh, mainland for Ikeja, number four, Soji, at the Pegba Close. Okay, for mainland for Ikeja. Of so Allen Avenue. Of Allen Avenue. So just mm -hmm. walk out, go Instagram at noblegrounds.ng. Now there you go see how you go see all the information you need. And if you need their physical address, mm -hmm. just send them a DM. Slide in silently and you say, go yes. get more information on top of them. Thank you so much thank you. for that information you just Thank give you. Us. Very, thank very, you. Very
to enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.